Hello everyone, it's me Chappy from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to enable and use Shizuku app in an Android smartphones and tablets. So, without further more delay, let's begin. So, firstly, just open the settings and just scroll down below and you need to enable this developer option so if you don't know how to enable this developer options then you can check out my older video which i'll be leaving the video tutorial link in the video description so you can check there how to enable the developer options and after that just open the developer option and just turn on the developer option if you have not turned it on and after that you can minimize it and now just open the play store and now just search for one application name as Seizuku and the first list you will see the application as I have already downloaded and installed it so I am not going to do it again so you firstly download and install it and after that just click on open so you can see here some instructions step by step guide so you can click on this step by step guide and you can read the instructions or you can follow my video tutorial now click on this pairing click on this notification options just allow move back click on this developer option just scroll down below now you will see here one option wireless debugging just turn it on click on allow now once again click on this wireless debugging again now just click on this pair device with pairing code now remember the wi-fi pairing code so i've done the notification toggle click on this down arrow icon now you need to enter here the pairing code so you can see you can start the physical service now so we have finally paired now just move back now just click on the start so finally you can see Suzuku is running so we have enabled the Suzuku and it is activated and it's also running right now now in order to use those applications which needed a Suzuku services you can just click on your authorized applications and if you have installed some application where you require Suzuku will be automatically detected as you can see here it's automatically detected my one of my application which needs a Suzuku services so you can just turn it on to enable a Suzuku service for the rest of the application whichever needed these services so this is how you can enable and use Suzuku app in any Android smartphones and tablets very easily so if you never known about the school tricks then you should definitely give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching